check it out. I just finished making some pozole right now. We're about to eat. So good, smells so good. But, let's first see what's in my bag. I don't have an intro, so let's just walk over and get my bag. So, this is the Terion camera bag. Um, I got this on Amazon for under 100 bucks and some freaking hair on my nose. Under 100 bucks. Um, it's been a great backpack. I've gone through a bunch of backpacks and I finally found one that I actually liked and it's safe. Uh, the last bag I had, uh, the pocket was right here to put all the camera gear. And I went out to go shoot one day and I didn't know that the camera bag, the zipper part was defective. I had my 60, my brand new 24 to 70, and I went to swing it over like this. And when I went to do that, the zipper and the weight of the camera and the lens, it just all came out. The whole lens broke and the camera was fine, but the lens was just destroyed. So um, I was not happy about that. So I finally found a bag that's safe. So in this bag, uh, depending when I'm shooting, if I'm out doing portrait stuff, if I go to like a meetup or anything else, um, this is typically what I'll carry. Well, this is not typically what I carry. This is a lot in here, but um, let's just say if I have a project that I'm doing, this is what I'll normally carry in here. And I'll show you an overhead shot of some of everything in here. Um, I carry the 50 millimeter 1.8. It's one of the cheap lens out for uh, Canon in general. And this is a great lens. Uh, I've had this for more than five years. Uh, this is my go-to lens for almost everything. Uh, I bought, I also have I bought it, but I haven't used it as much as I thought I was going to use it. And it's the 85 uh, 1.8 as well. And I thought I was going to use it more, but honestly, the 50, something about the 50 is just, it's like, it's my baby. Uh, so the 85, and this, I use this. Uh, once in a while just because it's a beast of a lens, but the 70 to 200 2.8 This is the first generation um, And I almost got rid of it But I just I held on to it. It's just it's one of those lens that you need to have For anything it's deadly sharp uh, the 70 to 200 and uh, on the EOS R, this lens, it's like, it came back to life for me because when I was using it for the 60, it wasn't that great. Um, it wasn't sharp, uh, it was hard to focus. And when I bought the EOS R, this thing, it's, it's a beast. I mean, it's deadly sharp, it's fast, I, and it must be because of the EOS R, uh, but one of my favorite lenses as well. I also carry a bunch of batteries with me. Depending on what I'm doing, and if you have friends, some of your friends you know don't carry batteries or they forget them. So I always carry multiple batteries, two chargers, and of course, to cover your lens and camera body. Now, let me just adjust this right here. Come down this way, there we go. Nope, that way. Right there. So, this is the inside. Um, I don't like to carry a lot when I'm uh, going out, especially if I'm doing just landscape stuff. I don't like to carry a lot. Usually I'll just take 70 to 200, the 50 of course, and the one that's on my camera body right now, which is the 17 to 35. 
Now I've found myself using the 17 to 35 like a thousand times more than I had in the past and I don't know why that is but this that lens it's one of my favorite lens by far um, I also I mean I love the 50 but I've been using the 17 to 35 for almost everything 85 millimeter chargers batteries and the 70 would go or the sorry not the 70 the USR would go right in this little compartment here in here memory cards I have nothing in here just one cuz I've used all of them and in here is one of the paracords uh, shoulder strap or neck strap whatever you want to call it I made this cuz I didn't want to pay $40 for whatever these things cost, so I just made one. And then this one, my buddy Micah gave it to me. Still have it, gave it to me a long time ago. Uh, if I'm out shooting landscapes, I'll wear this. Usually, I just don't have a strap on it. But that's in this backpack. This camera bag has really good compartments uh, for everything I carry. So there's little Velcro, two little pockets in here, two little pockets there. Velcro, one here, and like I said, the camera compartment is on the back side of, of you. And it also has this side for easy access to your camera if you're just out by yourself shooting. Uh, it has the compartment for a tripod or a water bottle, whatever you want to carry in there. I usually carry this tripod in here with me. Uh, it's I got it at Staples and I've had it for about a year and a half. It's a great sturdy tripod. The legs are bendable. They can wrap around things. Um, it's it hasn't gone uh, wobbly, which is I know some of the problems with the Gorilla Pods. So this has been great. I've got headphones. Uh, these are not the AirPods. These are uh, different brand but they, they're sleek and slim, just like the AirPods. And they link up, once you open it up, once they wanna connect, they'll say connect AirPods for whatever reason. Uh, and they're matte black, they're like really smooth when you're holding them. And I really like them, real small, low profile in the backpack, so that's always good. I also carry a battery pack to charge any device, cell phones, uh, any little thing that needs charging. I didn't want one of those big bulky ones, even though they probably hold more charge. This is perfect for me. It's just, you know, if I need, if I'm at 20% and I need it to go up to 50, this is good. Pocket knife. My buddy got me this for Christmas. It's a 511. Uh, and I really just like the color. And it's always good to carry something sharp with you if you're alone. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it's good to just have something. But it's just cool to have in your pocket. A pen to write stuff down. This is just, it's just a nice pen. Anything else in here? No. Next compartment. In here. Now, I don't always carry it with me because it's expensive and in San Francisco, you leave your camera bag, which I don't, uh, in your car. Uh, there's been multiple cases where things get stolen, uh, they break into it, but it's the DJI Mavic Air, or Mavic Pro, not the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro. This thing, I haven't used it as much as I would like to just because of the regulations they have for it, but it's a great tool to have. In here, 
I've got little pockets or a little backpack to hold other stuff. You guys will like this. This is just a little flathead. Now I found this at a thrift store and it's made out of brass. It's just it just feels good in your hands. Uh, but then you open it up and there's another little flathead. And then you open it up and there's another little flathead right there. And then you open it up and it's just a tiny little flathead. Little tiny guy, just for whatever you need. I thought that was cool. Had to get it. It was only like five dollars, so it's a good find. You got your charging cords for iPhone, something for a passport if you're going to travel and you need your laptop and a hard drive, external hard drive, and one micro USB. And this is for uh, one of the, oh shoot, I forgot what they're called. One of the displays or a monitor, uh, it's got the little HDMI to convert to from regular HDMI to a mini HDMI. My notebook, this is from Wayfinder and you just write stuff down in here. Any thoughts, notes, uh, numbers if you've met people and some Dayquil. So another thing I carry, this is, I grew up watching Pokemon so I love Pokemon. Uh, but this is just, uh, if you ever go do uh, astrophotography, this is a good tool to have. It's a remote for your shutter. And this is really old. I've had this for maybe eight years. And all it does, it just holds the shutter, mo the shutter when you're in bulb mode. And uh, it's for long exposure so you could do you know star trails if you wanted to do it like that instead of doing multiple photos It just connects to the camera Go in bulb mode lock the shutter and you're good So just want to show you the backpack also has another compartment uh, It's this one for any small stuff, you know another notebook if you've got something bigger if you're an artist sketchbook and inside here it has another For a laptop and it's right in there small notebook uh, it'll fit in there no problem it also has the I don't know the waist straps I I don't use them as much um, but they're there for safety so that's it for me guys um, that's what's in my camera bag uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, this is my first YouTube video, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.